Okay, oh Geminis, welcome to your Tarology Overview for the week beginning the 10th of May. You may feel you're under the spotlights, darling, in the all several areas of your life. However, that's not really the case. You may feel that, but it's not really the case. Everyone has their own issues, darlings, and they're not always looking at your issues or what's happening for you. You may feel they are, but you, they're not. This is a week also that you will come out of a negative thought process, and that's probably what you are feeling connected around that. That's the astrological energy, and this is the tarot energy. So the vibration of it is that that's going to change quite quickly and quite good, and I like that. One of the things that you can do to help yourself in this sort of situation is that you can journal. Write down your feelings as this is, it's a healing vibration and it will bring you relief. Date it and pop it away and then pull it out again. Date it, write it, do that. And, you, and when you look back in three months time, you will be quite amazed by what has happened. How you've looked at you, how when you look at these feelings and where you are then. This is a very healing principle to do, and it's so simple. If for some people, it can be very cathartic. I often suggest for people to write a letter to someone that they've had challenge or difficulty in, or write about the situation of it for themselves. And they are quite surprised at what is released. You're not going to send the letter. You're just going to write it out. Such a healing process. So, you know, that's a, that's a wonderful energy. Ah, and what this week says, there can be now a reversal of fortune for you in areas where you think you're lacking something. So just concentrate a little bit on those areas without getting anxious and it'll be great. It is a very good time, darlings, to trust your intuitive, your gut feeling. Because when we trust that, that's like our sixth sense. You know, we take all our other senses for granted. Well, we have a sixth sense too that we don't, and we need to. So when you start to trust that sixth sense, wonderful things can happen because that's the, your own personal guidance from within. I always say to people, you know, the guidance isn't outside. Yeah, someone can be an activator to guidance, but it's really the best guidance for you is to trust and listen and go with your gut feeling, or your intuitive ability, which, Gemini, you can slip, swip and swap backwards and forwards with because you remember you are the twins and that energy is very strong for you this week that you trust and you can be in any moment and enjoy. There's a lot of exhilaration this week, darlings. So don't go thinking to yourself, oh, you know, everybody's looking at me and they know my issues. They don't. They've got their own issues, pedals. So trust yourself in this and then enjoy. That's what you are meant to do. We're all meant to enjoy our life at sub level. We know we live in a polarity and we're going to have positive and negative. But if we can have a bit of enjoyment, even when it's a ch sad time, we can say, oh, this is the experience I'm having and I feel really sad but I'm going to be okay because I'll get through this and I'll, I will understand this and then it'll be better. And, you know, you take command of the situation. I've gone on a bit of a tangent, darling, but any information about anything of this sort is good. Nurture yourselves, Gemini, this week. Take care out there. And so it is.